when it's DLC time for Stellaris, we're getting a creature pack, except it's not called a creature pack, it's a species pack. Aliens are species, they're not creatures, right? Maybe, possibly, I don't know, but it's just in time for Halloween and we're getting the Necroid species pack. And in, you know, good Halloween fashion, they have reanimated armies because what fun is Stellaris without zombies included? <laughs> I love Stellaris. It's definitely not hardcore sci-fi. I mean, seriously, it's not. But th there, there's some interesting inclusions in this uh, game. But we are going to be playing here as the Absorbers of Mostus Snobby. He looks pretty darn snobby here, doesn't he? They're in Necrophage, which is the new origin. Uh, all sorts of things. But basically, our dudes cannot be born. We are created from our pre-patent species here, who these guys are uh, industrious, very strong, non-adaptive, and slow learners. They are, they are rather scary looking dudes, but they ain't too smart, which is how we took them over. Because we are the absorbers. We absorb everybody. And then we have reanimated armies because we don't want to waste ourselves or our actual troops on armies. No, 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 no. We will have undead armies. <laughs> we have our own uh, cauldron. Black cauldron. Prydane. Oh, good series of books. I need to reread those. It's been, God, it's probably been 20 years. My dad read them to me when I was a kid. The movies, the movies kind of eh. Fun movie, but eh. Uh, all right, but we're also fanatic authoritarian. We're spiritualists because we uh, we can enslave aliens, and we believe that we are the best race. Uh, and we're going to go prove that to the galaxy. So I think, yeah, I think I saved it. But let's just do that. Done. We're going to start. We're going to do a small galaxy. We're going to do a fairly quick game. You won't watch all of it. This is an edited video. But we're going to play. And we're going to see just how snobby we can be. In the not-so-distant past, Snob was dominated by a fairly unremarkable species. To all onlookers, they would have seemed to be following a standard meandering course of development, with occasionally rapid periods of innovation interspersed with many longer periods of seemingly insurmountable setbacks. However, unbeknownst to them, their planet was home to a second intelligent race. Us. For millennia, we, the Mr. Snobby Pants, remained undetected by the planet's profiteers, little more than vague rumors of terrors in the night. We were a fairy tale told only to scare misbehaving juveniles, but they were wrong to discount us. As their rate of technological progress quickened, so too did our infiltration of their society. When their fall came, it was swift and bloody. We ruthlessly took control of the planet. Our precursors reduced to subservience and gradual absorption into the Mr. Snobby Pants race. Now armed with the recently discovered secret of FTL travel, we are ready to take to the stars and remake all species of the galaxy in our likeness. Begin! And where are we? We are on the edge of the galaxy. We appear to be in a nice little uh, cul-de-sac back here. Excellent. The perfect location to spread out and absorb. So we have an interesting development here. We have found a primitive civilization, which as of this moment is a little OP in some ways because we found a primitive civilization here. Where are we? There we they are. There we go. Here's our primitive world. This lovely little desert planet, which is kind of cool. 90% habitability. And they have primitives on there because we need the primitives. We must absorb them into our civilization because you may be wondering, how do we reproduce? When are the only people that grow our little uh, uh, servants here? Yeah. Well, that is because we have the Chamber of Elevation. Necrophytes turn consumer goods and food into unity and amenities. Once every ten years, necrophytes are transformed into Mr. Snobby Pants in an elevation ritual. Ho, ho, ho. So, the more planets we have, the more elevation rituals, the more Mr. Snobby Pants we shall procure. It is time to bring our transports and land our armies on this lovely, lovely primitive world. They must be absorbed. And our worldly invasion has begun. Ho ho, excellent. They are having some culture shock, but that's a little understandable. They will soon come to realize how spectacular we are. Yes, yes they shall. 
we may need to uh, move one of our own men over here. You know, we need a leader. We need someone to be a good enforcer. We've got enslaved fang faces, yet you guys are all enslaved. We need someone who is, you know, not a slave. You will move. There we go. You are Mr. Snobby Pants, the specialist excellence. You are doing an amazing job. We have more primitives here. Stone Age ones, so it's going to be quite a bit of culture shock for them. We also have over here some Steam Age guys. So we will bring them all into the fold, make them chattel slavery, and uh, show them the true worth of the Snobby Pants. The Mr. Snobby Pants, pardon me. Elevation ceremony on Snob. Ever since the most snobby takeover of Snob, the transformation of Fang Faces into Mr. Snobby Pants has been shrouded in ritual. Once every ten years, a date which is rapidly approaching, the apprentices gather in the Chamber of Elevation for a special ceremony. What exactly happens to them is a closely guarded secret known only to a select few, but when they emerge, they do so as Mr. Snobby Pants. Let the preparations commence. Ooh, ho, ho. We have how many necrophytes there? Three, I believe, if we take a look. For our jobs, where are they? Yep, we have three of them. And they will all become Mr. Snobby Pants, which is very nice. Sadly, we cannot build the uh, chambers of elevation on our other worlds until we lose stellar culture shock, which is going to be a little bit. But that's okay. They will join us in the fold eventually. Hello, Killick Cooperative. I see that you have the exact opposite beliefs we do. I believe you will make good... Uh, Good shadow slaves to absorb into our empire over time. I see. You've also cut us off over there because we are cut off by some strange alien vessels in here. Interesting. We shall deal with you. Hello, Twixdar Confederacy, the one-eyed owls. I see you follow religion, but I'm pretty sure your religion is not our religion. But it is a blessing because you shall provide us with more warm bodies. Look, there are more primitives up here. <gasps> primitives, we must get to you and bring you into the fold. But first I must defeat our neighbors. Hmm, we must build up. We must become strong in the ways of FTL. And we've joined a galactic community and met our neighbors who, uh, they, they would look very good as part of our lovely, lovely civilization. As we, you know, rise them up to become what they truly should be. Hmm. It's an interesting world. Interesting galaxy, I should say. Not a world. We have many worlds. We have found the Oracle upon a planet of ours. We can go for admin capacity. We're going to a whole bunch of resources and tech. I think we'll go for the admin capacity. Plus 10%. Oh, yes. Because we're going to need it eventually. And we have managed to unlock a wormhole which leads us over here. Interesting. There are alien vessels in there. I... Oh, those guys. Oh, they aren't bad. We'll research them. We don't care about them. They cannot be absorbed into our lovely, lovely selves. But let's go search out that wormhole. And our other wormhole leads us up here where there is nobody. I think it's time to go explore, don't you? Oh, maybe we won't be exploring. We have met some, uh, <laughs> hi guys. Nice to meet you, Fallen Empire. We, we want nothing to do with you right now. Um, yeah, but good to know no one's going to be coming through that wormhole. <laughs> And we can't even build on that side, but we'll explore and see what it is. The Great Awakening has occurred. The veil has been lifted. We shall transcend. And we have been declared on by the Killick Cooperative. All right. Time to go take care of them, I suppose. And we have no claims on their system, but I guess it's time to make some claims. It is time to build our first undead army. So, the strongest ones will be, of course, our undead fang faces, which are 2.62 to 5.25. If they are alive, they're the same damage, but morale damage here is much increased. A lot more collateral damage as well. 
and they're not affected by morale damage, and they're not limited by pops. So let's get some undead fang faces going. And we're coming in hot to attack their fleets because they dared to declare war on us, but they can't stand up to our fleet. They, they, they thought that, you know, we had no fleet so they could attack us. What they didn't realize is that we had all the resources on the tech to build a fleet really fast. Oh, another fleet came in. Oh, and they're gone. Guys, you didn't do the smartest thing, but look, we're going to get some lovely people we can bring into our world. Oh, they're making robots, though. Ew. We must stop that. Well, then, this world is blowing up, apparently, or something did. Interesting. Tick tock, tick tock. And here comes the landing of our first undead army. It's Oh, they're just murdering them. Oh, that's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Apparently, we now have more people at war with us. The Republic of Kirim. What, what do you have against the most snobby people over here? I mean, the most snobbiest, uh, also known as Jeff, apparently. Uh, yeah, so let's tidy up this war. Um, I think we should be done. Be it very soon, because, uh, yeah, we need to rename you Jeff. I wish I could rename you. We can't. How about our, Je How about our Admiral? Our Admiral can be renamed Jeff. Yes, you will be Jeff. Excellent. Apparently there's a meme. I missed it. Or the meme didn't exist when I started recording this game, but it exists now, so... The Admiral of the most snobby pants is, uh, Jeff. Oh, wait, there we go. You are also Jeff. Excellent. Arch Prophetess Jeff. All right, we're tidying them up very nicely. Look at that. Oh, you cannot stand upon the might of the most snobby pants. Do you not understand how magnificent we are? Well, now it is time for the most snobby pants to prove their worth. Uh... You know, they've got a fleet up here. Our fleet's coming up. It's gonna be a little slow, and it's really close. We're about to be forced to settle status quo. The thing is, we ha own everything that we have claims on. So, settle status quo, send offer, and see what happens. We will accept this for now. Excellent. You guys have a planet left? Apparently they do somewhere. Interesting. <laughs> But we won that little war, and we took all their planets to make lovely new people and slaves, and it's absolutely excellent, and we need to invade these primitives. Yes. Excuse me, primitives. You do not get to be observed. You get to be made over. Oh, yes. And while that is occurring, we need to go and... The fight these other guys down here who declared on us and have done nothing. So, yeah, it's time to go murder them and show them exactly how useless it is to try and stand up against the most snobby because we are snobby for a reason. Ah, our previous enemy still lives because they went through a wormhole and landed a place over here. Interesting. Otherwise, they would have lost all of this. I see. We will have to uh, teach them the error of their ways in the future. Excuse me, you taste uh, my stink of vile husk. <gasps> How dare you, Pricky T? Where are you? You are over here. We shall remember this. Oh, yes, we shall remember you and we shall deal with you in the future. Well, then, we might be in trouble here. They have an exponentially larger fleet than we do at the moment. This is what happens when you get out of one war and get knocked into the other one. Uh-oh, not good. Even with this lovely star base here, we are in serious trouble. All right, we're not stupid. We do not have enough alloys. We're going to lose a bunch of alloys if we agree to this fight. It might be necessary to surrender and lose the system and then come at them. I think that's what we're going to do. Jeff, Jeff is smart. Jeff knows when to back out. We're going to send a surrender offer. The worst possible outcome. Yes, we lost this station. 
but we're going to be okay. Yes. All right. We're going to back up our fleets and we're going to turn around and declare on them once we have more, a larger fleet, which we'll get there. We just need a little bit of time to consolidate and heal after this last war. And we got the Galactic Market. Excellent. And you closed your borders to us, so we close our borders to you. We don't want anything to do with you anyway. You don't need to access the Galactic Market. And you guys are getting claims on our systems again. We need to improve our fleet. It is time for us to create an ecology. Excellent, excellent, excellent. This lovely size 20 tropical world will burn down the jungles and build an urban empire. And our ecology, our ecology is completed. Excellent. Um, we've got a lot of empty jobs, but that's fine. We've got a lot of empty clerks. Um, <laughs> Ah, oh, but what a glorious planet considering we're making so many minerals everywhere else. It is time. Our fleet has grown. No longer are we sitting at 4k, we are at 30k. No longer are we running a bunch of planets that uh, are all sorts of troublesome. We are a little over our empire sprawl, but you know, we're doing much better. And we're a bit dead, but you know what snobby person doesn't? required to go into debt every once in a while. We, we more than make it up in our other resources. It's fine. Utterly fine. We've got this beautiful uh, Ecumopolis world here. Though we're going to need more people on it. All the people. It's It's got a little shortage of people at the moment, but that's okay. That's fine. It's all fine. Uh, let's build one of those. Okay. And then we're gonna come down here because currently our empire is split in half because of this dodo head over here. Look at him. He is not appropriately snobby enough, so we must go and deal with him. Let us declare war. Conquer? Yes. This is my station, my system, and uh, yeah, there's this lovely electrical storm going on. It's going on all over the galaxy. Oh, yes. Mine. All mine. Heal up, my dear ships. We have a lot of systems to take. And here comes a big battle. We're chasing them. 32 versus their 21. Oh, we took the star base. They're still running from us. Go get them. Go get them, Jeff. You know you want to. You know this is the way. Come on. A study. Yep, yep. They're taking that base. Doesn't matter. Ha ha ha! What a battle. I suppose I should watch this. There you go. Oh, you stupid bird brands. You cannot stand upon the might of you not stand against, oh, I'm sorry. You can stand upon, but not against, the might of the mightiest snobby ones. Mr. Snobby Pants, also known as Jeff. Excellent. And we can build mega structures now. Ooh, we, we got some fun stuff to do, though we're uh, in desperate need of funds. <laughs> it's fine. We're going to win this war. It's all good. Uh, we've also got another fleet up here because these dodo heads uh, decided to come help them. And uh, yeah, that's not acceptable. And this is why you don't mess with me. Republic of Krim is now embroiled in a machine uprising. So you don't rely on machines. You just have slaves. Enslave all the pops. It's fine. Well, we are 99% and they would like peace with us. And we will claim all of these systems. And we will claim all of these systems. We will be cut off a little bit down here because the, uh, the robots won their war. And they will have this little bit left. And then the other guys that attacked us early on, the Crick, Killick, they will have this little bit. I think we have done well. And we're not actually taking any planets that need to be assimilated or absorbed. 
So, let us end this farce of a war. Agree. And uh, Badoom, the absorbers of most is snobby. Ho, ho, ho. Look at our land. Look at our star systems. We are glorious. I suppose we should take out the marauders over here. Hmm. They, they are a problem. They are stopping our expansion under the Besedun sovereignty, who are suspicious of us for good reason. <laughs> but I do believe we'll be ending our adventures in this video here. So, thank you so much for watching The Adventures of the Most is Snobby, also known as uh, Jeff. Because Jeff has opinions. I wish that meme had been around when I started this game. But thank you so much for watching. If you would like to see more of, you know, the absorbers of the most is snobby as they conquer the galaxy, leave a like, leave a comment, let me know, and I'll make another video with the same little world and the save because, you know, we haven't even reached the endgame crisis yet. It's 2304. We're 100 years in. I think the endgame prices can't hit until 2350 at the earliest, or 2325. I don't remember what I said it to. One or the other. Uh, we are having energy an energy crisis, but a lot of our planets here need upgrades, and we're doing a great job of absorbing all of our people. Look at that. Look at that. We've got some other guys here. We did buy some slaves to uh, populate a planet we colonized, but... We are doing quite well for ourselves, and it doesn't matter that we're slow breeders because we, as necroids, don't breed. We take um, bodies from our lovely slaves. In fact, we've actually been doing so well that some of our people are enslaved because there's just not enough high-tier jobs for them, and we're running out of other people to turn into slaves. So that is how it is. Um, but thank you so much for watching. If you do enjoy this video, leave a like, leave a comment down below. Remember to subscribe if you haven't already. And ring that bell if you'd like to know when videos go up. I'm Rose, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye, guys.